Hi, this is Carmel. I'm the Crazy Cricket Lady, and I'm here, here with another segment of Design Space. There's nothing to be scared of. Today I'm going to show you how to slice multi-layered image. These are both images I wanted to use in a project I was working on. You'll see it in a couple of days. Needed to slice them, and I'm going to show you three ways on how to slice multi-layered images. If you try to slice this image, and all I wanted was the little mummy guy, but try to slice this. I can't do it. You see the slice button is not highlighted. That's because I have two layers. So what I'm going to do is, there are two ways you can do this. One, since I don't want anything that is black, I can hide that layer. and then slice it. See the slice tool is lit up. Slice it, get rid of these parts, and there I have the little mummy guy. Now I'm going to back it up a little and show you the other way to do this. Okay, we're going to bring back that layer. Now instead of doing that, since I don't, since my whole image is one color that I want. I can highlight it, weld it. It changes its color, but you can change it to anything you want later. Cover up the part I want to get rid of and slice it. And then change this back to, to the color it was. It was sort of a light gray. Now, what if, let me get rid of all these, what if your image, the colors run through everything? For instance, I'm going to hide some of these. The dark gray is there, the yellow goes through the whole image, the black goes through the whole image, and so does the gray. Well, the gray goes through most of it, but I wanted part of it. What I wanted was the moon, the house, and part of the road, but it was a little too big, so I wanted to slice it. Well, I didn't want this part, so I just deleted that. But I wanted to slice this part about there, and you can't do it because it's multiple layers. So the way to do that is you have to make three copies because that's how many layers I've got. And well, you had to make two extra copies and I made an extra for comparison later. We first take the first image and we hide everything we don't want to cut. We don't want to cut right now. Now this moon, the only part I want of the moon is be what's behind the house. So we're going to cut this part. And that leaves that part. So now we're going to go to this part. We're going to hide the road, hide the yellow part. And we're going to take the shape. And we're going to cut it. Let's see, where did I want that? I wanted to keep it to about there. To about where it starts to get wide. Because that was the problem. It was a little wider than what I wanted. So we're going to slice it there. And these parts are extra and we can get rid of those. So far, so good. Now, this one we're going to hide the pieces we don't want. But where do you cut the road so that it's the right length? Well, take this, send it to the back. It goes right about 
there. So you want to line this up. Have to unlock this and make it a little wider. Line this up with the bottom of the house. And then we don't want that there, so we're going to move that. Highlight these two and slice. And we'll delete those. Now, if we try to rebuild the house, I'm going to put the house back on the moon. And then we're going to move this to the front. And we're going to put this right where it needs to be so that it lines up at the bottom and lines up with the black piece. To that, we have taken that piece, which is multiple layers, and we have sliced it through all of the layers till it is about what we want. And then I'll just group all of this. See, here it's all one piece. Here, to get it to be all one piece, we had to group it. But that's okay. We can use it like this because it's going to cut these pieces on separate mats anyway. That's how you cut an image that is multiple layer. This is Carmel. I'm the Crazy Cricket Lady. And this has been another episode of Design Space. There's nothing to be scared of. If you have any questions, you can reach me at my Facebook group. Or you can email me at blog at crazycricketlady.com. Thank you. Have fun.